In the last lecture, we learned what is NPM. So basically, we learned that NPM is both a package repository as well as a command line interface. Now, using this command line interface, we can install and manage packages from the NPM repository. So in this lecture, we are going to see how we can install packages from the NPM repository. But before that, let's understand what are the different categories in which we can divide a package. So when we install a package, the package can be classified into a regular dependency or a development dependency. So a package is called as a simple or regular dependency if the working of our application which we are creating or the code which we are writing, it depends on that package. Basically, a regular dependency is the dependency on which the working of our application depends. From these regular dependencies, we might be using some APIs or some method or some class in our own code. For example, we are going to use the Express Framework from our next section. So this Express Framework is going to provide us some APIs and classes which we are going to use in our Node application. So in that case, our code is dependent on that Express package because from there we want to use some APIs and classes. Now, a development dependency is that dependency on which the working of our application does not depend. The development dependency is that dependency which helps us in the development process. So when we are creating an application, we might use some tools which will faster our development work. For example, a code formatter or an auto saver. So these tools helps us in increasing our productivity while we are developing an application. On these tools, the working of our application does not depend. We only need these tools for development. So these types of packages are called as development dependencies. So let's go to VS Code. And let's see how we can install a package from npm repository. For that, we need to use this command npm install. And then we need to specify the package name. So let's say we want to install the express package the express framework for our application so here we can say npm install and then the package name after that we can also use this at and then we can provide the version of the express which we want to install so for let's say if you want to install the version 4 of express then after this at you can specify 4 but if we don't specify this in that case the latest version of this express package will be installed if i press enter this terminal, this CLI is going to download and install Express from the node repository. So you will notice that this Express has been installed. And here in the package.json file, you will notice that a new field called dependencies has been created. And inside this dependencies, this Express has been listed. So here, this Express is our dependency. It is a regular dependency. It is a dependency on which the working of our application is going to depend. And that's why it is inside this dependencies section. Now, if you have noticed, when this express got installed, a new folder in this project folder tree has been created. And that folder is this node underscore modules folder. So basically, whatever package we download and install from npm repository, we are going to have it stored inside this node modules folder. If I expand this node modules folder, here you will see all these files and folders. So these are all the dependencies now. Basically, since I have installed Express for this project, you can see inside this node modules folder, we have this Express folder. And here we have all the files related to this Express package. Now internally, this Express package also has its own dependencies. So it also needs some dependencies on which the working of this Express package depends. So all those dependencies are also listed here. And if these dependencies has their own dependencies, then that will be also installed and stored here inside this node modules folder. So keep in mind that whenever we install a package from npm repository in the node modules folder, that package and all its dependencies will be stored inside this node modules folder. And also keep in mind that when we deploy our application in production, at that time, we don't deploy this node modules folder. Alright, so here we install this express package from npm repository and this express package is our dependency. It is our regular dependency. Now let's go ahead and let's install a dev dependency. So if you remember, a dev dependency is basically that dependency which we need for the development purpose. On the dev dependency, our application does not depend. Without the dev dependency packages also, our application is going to work as expected. 
we need dev dependencies we need some tools in order to increase our productivity when we are developing an application and one such tool which we can install here is the node mon tool so currently what is happening is whenever we make some changes in this file first we have to save those changes and then we need to run the app.js file and then only those changes will be reflected in the result so instead of doing that manually what we can do is we can install a package called nodemon so let's go ahead and let's use this npm install command so remember that we use this npm install command to install a package and here we want to install this nodemon package okay and here this nodemon is going to be our dev dependency we need nodemon only for the development purpose our application is not going to depend on this package so in order to tell that this nodemon is going to be our dev dependency we need to use this command after this package name and that should be save hyphen dev let's go ahead and let's run this command and here you can see that nodemon package has been installed and if i go to this package.json file there you will notice that another field called dev dependencies have been created here and in there this nodemon has been listed so here we have installed two packages the first package is this express package which is our regular dependency and the second package is this nodemon package which is our dev dependency now when we install a package from npm repository that package can also be installed in two ways so basically we have two types of package installs the local installation and the global installation in case of a local installation the package is only available in that project folder where the package is installed it cannot be used outside of that folder but in case of global install the package is installed globally in the machine and it can be accessed from any folder or any project directory here we have installed this express and this nodemon package locally that means these two packages will only be available for this node.js basics project if i try to use this express and this nodemon in any other project there i will again have to install it i cannot use these installations in another folder in another project but there might be some packages which you would want to install globally because you might need it in all your projects for example this nodemon we might need this nodemon package in all our node projects so nodemon is a tool that helps us develop node.js application by automatically restarting the node application whenever we change something in our file or working directory so in that way it is going to save us lot of time because in that case we will not have to save our file every time we make some changes and then run our app.js file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install this nodemon globally and to install a package globally again we need to use this npm install command but there after this install we also need to specify that we want to install a package globally for that we can use this hyphen g or hyphen global so in short we can also write it as hyphen g in the same way we can also write this npm install command as npm i so i for install and then we need to specify the package name so here i am going to install nodemon globally so this hyphen g tells that we want to install this nodemon this package globally and then i also want to install this package as dev dependency so for that i need to use hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev so this is the command which you can use in order to install a package globally now i'm not going to run this command here because i have already installed this node one locally for this project and that should be it for now now let's see how we can use nodemon so to use nodemon we use this command nodemon space and then the name of the file so here let's say i want to run this app.js file for that i can say app.js if i press enter you will notice that our app.js file has started and now whenever i make some change here in this file let's say i write console.log and let's say nodemon is working okay let me save the changes and you will see that nodemon has restarted this app.js automatically we don't have to restart it manually and you can also see this console message nodemon is working so now every time we make some changes in our node.js file and when we save it this nodemon will automatically restart or it will rerun this 
app.js file. So this is all from this lecture. I hope with this lecture now you understand what is the different type of packages we can have in our Node.js application. So basically if I open this package.json file, we learned that we can have packages as regular dependencies and that will be listed inside this dependencies section. And we can also install packages that will be our development dependencies and that will be listed inside this dev dependencies section, this dev dependencies field. And we also learned about different types of installs. So basically we can install a package in two ways. Either we can install it locally or we can also install it globally. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.